Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Beyond Our Reason. So today we're going to be spectating a game played on Trefoil Remake, one of my favorite maps. I really enjoy this map just because of, you know, Hovercraft, super, super viable, viable on this map. You know, we can see them a lot, so hopefully we'll be seeing that today. Um, in the bottom, we have Ozymandias playing Cortex. The top right, we have Dollar Bill playing Armada. Very good on him. And then we also have Nob playing Armada. Um, yeah, so if you like to see this Beyond All Reason stuff, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Because I make content like this a decent amount of the time. So you'll probably end up enjoying it. So we have Ozymandias going. Uh, he's going to be using a bot lab here. We have Dollar Bill using a bot lab. And then we also have a Nob going bot lab. No hovercraft starting today. I don't know if it's going to be used at all. I don't know if uh, boats are going to be used at all. I hope so. We have some relatively experienced players. Um, it's it's actually a more even game than it looks. Uh, just based off these numbers, it is not really indicative of these players' skill. Uh, so we have Ozymandias already using a radar here. Pretty good. I like his coverage. I mean, obviously, that's not ideal. But... You basically have to be going around here. Um, you know, it, it'll see him eventually, right? Anyone else using radar towers? No. Oh, yeah, in terms of wind speed, 5 to 25. So really, really decent wind speed. Um, you probably want to be building some batteries as usual. But at least a minimum keeps the turbine spinning, unlike zero. Um, but yeah, this, this uh, map, usually the early game, pretty boring. Um, it's just a lot of build up because you start off with all your mexes on your home base So you have like What is this seven and then you also have your geothermal plant? Um, once you get all of the your seven mexes though People start expanding out into the middle Here's where we can slow down a little bit We have these grunts moving out from Ozymandias and we have knobs commander actually moving out placing down a radar tower and a mex So he knows these guys are on the middle island. So he's going to be shifting over some pawns um, which is the low tier armada unit of his own also this radar placement much much better than Ozymandias, um Radar placement. It's instinctive to place a radar tower right next to your bot lab, but you really don't need to on this map um, Although I would recommend if you're gonna put it all the way up here at least put a radar tower back here So you don't get uh back capped by like some hovercraft. That would be unfortunate But it would be cool to watch though Spawns are easily able to repel these grunts. Uh, little little creek crossing here to try to get onto the middle island. Knob has staked out his position here with some laser towers. Obviously, his radar towers. He's building mexes. Really just doing a great job of expanding early. Dollar Bill going for the mexes all the way in the back in the water with his commander. Uh, you know, it's a thing you can do. I'm already building advanced solar collectors. Don't know why you'd want to do this. Well, the answer is you wouldn't, um, unless you're like really, really don't have any space for wind turbines and you're trying to be more efficient with that. But by then you should have tier two stuff. But uh, yeah, wind turbines much better than solar collectors and much, much better than advanced solar collectors. You're just using too much time and too much metal on those advanced solar collectors. And he's going to be building some more wind turbines as well. That's good. In terms of... Uh, Dollar Bill's army that he's building up. He's got some pawns coming out. Starting a little bit later than everyone else, though. It's a radar tower placement. It's pretty nice. Ozymandias just staking out his hold on this little island in front of his base. Um, yeah, you definitely want to contest Nob here. Um, because if he starts getting he starts getting too entrenched, it's going to be really difficult to push him off. Um, cheeky little kill with the laser tower there. And the pawns are going to be going in. Attacking a position with a laser tower and uh, easily able to repel these grunts and Ozymandias', Ozymandias commander <laughs> um, from that island. And Nob now controls the entire middle area. Very important, but also the, the position that's going to get you attacked the most. So you have to make sure that your army's ready for that. Also, the new building animation for stuff. Really cool. I enjoy it a lot. But he is not invading into anyone's base, which is smart. You don't want to... I mean, if you have the option, taking out one of these players is key. 
right? Easily. But you don't want to lose so much material trying to take out a player that the player that you haven't been attacking at all is able to swoop in and destroy you. Dalville's not in that position yet. He's still building up his military. Um, but Nob also. Uh, he could. He could take out Ozymandias. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. But it would be difficult. And it would not be worth it. We have Dollar Bill coming in here. But it uh, looks like he's going to be retreating after losing uh, three pawns. So, a little scouting trip there. Didn't go so, so successfully for him. And now he's going to be moving some troops over. So he doesn't get attacked again. Which, yep. That's, that's definitely what you want to do. Uh, and for future reference, Peewees are our pawns. Uh, they got renamed recently, so... Nothing new there. Ozymandias is going to be building a tier 2 bot lab. Uh, it needs tier 2 for Nob. Yes. Just, he, he has a tier 2 bot lab as well. Dollar Bill still on tier 1. Not even thinking of tier 2, it looks like. And what is Nob building? Some butlers. Just some fast assist repair bots. Uh, I, I would be building units, honestly. Or at least, uh... Yeah, at least he does have his tier 2 construction bot. Going to be building some advanced mexes. Ozymandias still building his advanced bot lab. I don't know what exactly he's lacking. Looks like metal. Uh, he could definitely go for these two metal spots back here. If you'd like to with this commander, but... Yep, Dollar Bill still continuing to make wind turbines, still not thinking of any tier 2 units, though he has a lot, a lot of pawns. He could definitely try for pushing Nob off the island, although attacking into these islands would be difficult just because of these sentries right here. The light laser towers are really deadly to these horrible tier 1 units. And Ozymandias has just finished his advanced bot lab, going to be building his advanced construction bot, as you should. Some grunts trying to work their way around the island, but unfortunately they can't escape the range of these dragon claws and the light laser towers. So yes, Ozymandias has to work with Dollar Bill here. I mean, Dollar Bill has a lot of forces, but he's going to lose a lot of them attacking in, so Ozymandias has to capitalize on this, although he doesn't really have a military right now. Looks like his grunts may actually be trying to go for Dollar Bill, which is ridiculous. We had Dollar Bill trying to work his way, maybe even around a knob's base. But uh, pawns are going to intercept them, but is it going to be enough? Ooh, these guys are just out of reach of that Dragon's Claw. Yeah, knob does not have enough to kill all of these pawns. And Dollar Bill is going to be coming in and destroying this entire army, basically. Now, we do have some Sprinters here, but they're, they don't really have the firepower to deal with all of this. Um... Dollar Bill is going to be destroying a lot of Nob's base here. Oh, Nob gives up. That's kind of sad. Now it is Ozymandias versus Dollar Bill. Dollar Bill still has the greater military here. If he goes in with his large army, then um, it's basically going to be over for Ozymandias. Looks like he is waiting a little bit, though. Going to be joining up with some new forces that he's been pumping out. And he is getting these pawns out at a rapid rate. I don't know if that's the meta. Um, exactly, just pumping out pawns, I'm not entirely sure. I feel like it could be stopped with decent decent emplacement of static defenses, but whatever. Now, Osmanis is trying to get some reclaim here. But unfortunately, it doesn't really have the laser t or the radar tower vision to see. Oh, he's actually going to be reloading. See the, uh, this massive army coming in here. Let's speed it up a little bit. And Dollar Bill going to be coming in with his mega, massively large pawn army here. Pyro, tier 2 unit, trying to, trying to do some work here, but there's just, there's not enough of them. There are too many pawns. Look at all of them. And that's going to be about it for Ozymandias' base. 
Um, where is this calm? Oh, in the water. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so he takes out the geothermal plant, takes out his entire army, but it, it doesn't really matter at this point. He has another small one. Ozymandias' static defense is not able to do enough there. He's going to be running away. <laughs> Suiciding his little army into Ozymandias' laser towers. Now, Ozymandias trying to come back here. He's got his naval hovercraft platform here, creating some tidal generators. He's got a little bit of metal. He's got a, a reclaim repair bot right here. Maybe going to be trying to repair some of Nob's base. Oh, he's going to be reclaiming some butlers. This is interesting. I don't exactly know what the plan is here. If he gets enough naval... naval su oh my lord. Naval supremacy. Then he could keep his commander alive. But it's going to be really tough. Building some fast attack hovercrafts. And these guys are going up so slowly. I'm going to majorly speed this up. Aussie man is building up some fast attack hovercrafts. Yep, back capping Dollar Bill's base. Kind of like I said in the beginning, although I did not think it would actually happen. He's doing a little bit of damage, but that's a lot of his army lost for nothing. I mean, he's still pumping out these guys, but he should have he should have just waited for a good clean attack because now Dollar Bill's getting smart. He's probably going to be building some stack defenses, and at least he has a standing army. Ooh. Ozymandias' commander got out of the water there a little bit. Hovercraft going in again. But it's not, it's not going to be enough. I don't think it, it's going to be enough. Nazimus does give up there. So it's an interesting game, right? If you're looking at the beginning, or I think the, the best thing about this game is to analyze it, right? So when we're looking at the um, at the start of the game, we see Nob uh, really, really stepping up here, right? He's in a dominant position, taking the middle. The bad thing about it, though, is that he completely, he ignores that his other enemies may have large armies built up. Uh, especially since he has absolutely he has not attacked Dollar Bill at all. Um, so even though Dollar Bill had a, a lower eco, he was able to push through at the end because he had built up his army so well in the beginning. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that game. A little bit of a plot twist. Um, and also I just really, I, I wanted to find a game that included this map because I like this map a lot. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Adios.